Hi, welcome. Today I want to share with you a guitar trick that I like to use for a wide variety of styles, whether I'm playing electric, acoustic, ambient, or whatever. It's a great trick for beginners because it's super easy, but it's also good for any skill level because it's musical, and therefore it can be applied for as long as forever. In this example, I'm gonna be using an electric guitar with lots of reverb and lots of delay for an ambient style, but it works seriously with no effects with an acoustic guitar or however you wanna use it. So let's do it. Be sure to hang around to the end of this video where I'll have a practice section. You'll be able to practice the basic version of this riff as well as improvise with it for as long as you want. The first thing you need to know is the key of the song you're playing in. You just need the first note of any key. So if you are in F, you want an F note. If you're in G, you want a G note. So for this example, we're gonna be playing in C just because it's easy and we're gonna need a C note. But we don't want just any C note. We want one from the second string of our guitar near the 12th fret if possible. So for us, that's gonna be the 13th fret on the second string. Now step two, you need to find the right harmony note to add to it. For that, I like to use a fourth below. If you don't know what a fourth is, that's totally fine. Let me show you how to find it. If you're playing on the second string, all you have to do is go down one string to the third string and then down one fret from wherever you're playing. So if our C is on the 13th fret, our harmony note, our fourth, is on the 12th fret. Now the last step is really simple. You just alternate back and forth between those notes in whatever rhythm you think sounds good with the song you're playing. For example, That's basically the whole trick. It's super easy, anybody can do it, but it adds a lot musically in combination with a rhythm guitar or the chord pattern in the song that you're trying to play with. Now that's basically the whole trick, but there's a few things you can do to add to it to really make it come alive. The first thing is your right hand. It's important that you don't play too hard. You don't want any harshness like You wanna challenge your right hand to play as lightly as possible to get as much nuance out of the strings as possible. Another thing you can do is implement a little bit of creativity into your left hand. By changing up the top note, you can create a lot more variation and make this riff really last a long time and get a lot of bang for your buck. I'll play the riff again, but this time I'm gonna move the C down to a B and then back up to a C again, and we'll see what happens. Just by adding that one note, you have a whole nother dimension to what you're playing. But we don't have to stop there. We can actually move around to several other notes that work with this. I'll play the riff again, and this time I'm gonna move around a lot more. Feel free to be creative. Don't try to copy what I do, but create notes that you think sound good with this riff. But for now, here's one final example of how I like to use the riff. I really hope that this was helpful in getting you started with guitar. If it was, please feel free to leave a comment and let me know what you would like to see next and subscribe and click the like button and the notification bell so that way I can get back with you and we can keep learning. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.